Hey guys, welcome back. Wake up this morning. Make the mistake hey guys, of welcome the back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I make decor videos just like this throughout the whole entire year. I also make a bunch of other home content, what's for dinner, mommy videos, uh, plus size fashion, beauty, all that type of stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and join our little family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England. And today's video, I am so excited, is going to be my Valentine decor haul. Um, a week or two ago, I got I asked you guys on my community tab here on YouTube what you guys wanted to see from my channel. I had just done my big purging of Christmas content, all of my gift guides, all that type of stuff, and I was just fried and overwhelmed and just needing some inspiration. You guys gave me a ton of really good ideas, a lot of things that I wasn't expecting that a lot of you guys overwhelmingly asked for, so thank you guys so much if you uh, left a comment on that um, question, a little community poll. I really, really appreciate it. It's definitely needed. <laughs> I need some direction. I want to film, obviously, what you guys want to see. but. On that, a lot of you guys asked for some Valentine's Day decor haul and decorate with me, so I got you covered that video. Um, don't know I'm doing finger guns. Anyway, um, the Valentine's Day decor that I got this year is probably the most that I have so far. I don't have a whole lot of Valentine's Day decor already. I feel like there isn't a whole lot normally that comes out, which makes me sad because I love Valentine's Day, and I normally like to decorate some, some put something up at least in the middle of January so I get that full kind of month to really just soak it up and enjoy the like gushiness and fun pinks and reds and girliness of it all I love it and so I like to decorate early um, and I know so many of us are decorating early and decorating even if we didn't originally decorate and we don't normally decorate for these types of holidays or whatnot wherever you are in this situation I hope that these ideas um, and just think little goodies and treasures I found bring you joy and give you some good ideas I'm still on the Hunt. There's a lot of stuff that I want to try to hunt down and track down that I've been trying to do um, But this is kind of the starter you may see some of that extra stuff in our decorate with me um, Coming up or you just may appear randomly in videos because I've added it on to it But this is kind of the start of my decor. I'm really excited I got some good stuff and so I'm ready to share it with you the main places I shop were uh, Dollar Tree Hobby Lobby Target Walmart home goods um, Did I say Hobby Lobby? and one thing from Kirkland's. So I'm excited to share them all with you. I'm gonna try to make this as fast and speedy as possible. I already filmed this once and I gabbed too long, so I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to be quicker. Also, the lighting's kind of crazy. Bear with me, we're working. We're working on a weird time frame right now, okay? All right, I'm gonna start with Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree um, is definitely like a mecca, I think, for Valentine's Day stuff. I feel like they normally have quite a lot. Um, more than most places actually do, but they just have stuff for every single one. I will say Valentine's or the decor at Dollar Tree is definitely hit or miss and you can't always find things that uh, you, other people may post about. But this year, I was really pleasantly surprised to find this little number. This is like a wood block and let me tell you, if someone was breaking in your house and you were near this, like you could knock someone out, man. Like you could take somebody out with this bad boy. Like it's a nice big thick chunk of piece of wood. Um, Anyway, it's just white, looks distressed, and it has a cursive love in red on it. I think this is really cute. This would be adorable on a mantle. This would be adorable. Um, I may use this on our media stand, or I may use this like on the back of the stove because I've recently started decorating there, and I think it's such a fun little pop of like fun. And I think this would be adorable on the back of that as well. Um, but this is only a dollar, and this is like this to me is worth more than a dollar. Like this would be like three or five dollars at Target. Um, glad for that one i liked it a lot my mom picked up this for the girls i feel like this is very like very dollar tree just like they're fun gl very glittery uh little things this is just like a styrofoam heart it's just fun to decorate your kids rooms this is something that's really big for my kids especially this year they love decor they cried we all cried when we took down the christmas decorations there's just nothing like a christmas tree and all that type of stuff and our home looks so naked and we are desperate to get some new decorations up so the girls are super excited to have their own like little decor in their room so this is just the pink little heart i want to say that comes in other colors these are door knockers um doorknob hangers does anybody else use these i've had them pretty much my whole life my mom has always used these 
and they're something that I love. I don't know. I don't ever see anybody else talking about them, but it's just something I grew up with, and so I really love it. But this one is just a cute little heart, um, and it has little jingle bells on it with this really adorable love ribbon. I think this is adorable. They're fun. This is, once again, another way to decorate like your girl's room or your kid's room or your, you know, what have you. Just add a little extra zhuzh. Love it. Um, a fun thing for love boxes or like gifts for your kiddos. I My Valentine's Day, what I got my kids for Valentine's Day is coming. I'm honestly stumped this year. I don't know what to get my kids. I feel like Christmas, I was tapped out on ideas. I have no idea what to do right now. I'm I'm needing inspiration, but I promise I it'll be filmed. I just don't know what to get them yet. Um, but my mom picked these up for them. These are little paint sets. I feel like these would really good go well in like a cute little love box or your a Valentine's for your kiddos. Um, these are little unicorns. I want to say they have different ones. My girls love these. And what I love about them is they take about an hour to do. Oh, there's a puppy that was just running. He got out. I hate seeing that. He's with his dad. Sorry. <laughs> um, these paint sets are really great and my girls love them and they will literally spend like an hour working really hard and doing them. Plus then they get to decorate their rooms once again like their own decorations to be a part of something. But when we can't go outside, can't go to places, these are a really good like time waster essentially um, to do indoors for your kiddos. I got these two packs of heart scatters table scatters. I have no idea what I'm doing with these yet. These would be great for a DIY, which by the way, there are some DIY ideas in this video and I will be filming my own DIY video for Valentine's Day decor. I love doing Valentine's like handmade DIY Valentine stuff. I don't, I don't do it for any other time of the year, but for whatever reason, Valentine's, it gets me crafty. So I have a couple of DIYs that I will be putting a separate video up to hopefully inspire you because honestly, it's hard to find Valentine's Day stuff and decor. There's just not a lot of it. So I love to do a DIYs. Anyway, these would be great for that. These are just really, really cute, really hot pink. Like they're coming off not even as hot pink on camera as they are in person. Neon little hearts. They're so fun. And like I said, these would be really fun for a really like fun girly DIY. Or you could fill them up with a um, like a vase, a table scatter, however you want them. Um, but I think these are adorable and don't know what I'm doing with them yet. But my girls said we had to have them. Next. Um, we got a pack of conversation cards. Love these. They're tasty. My oldest loves them too. I'm using these for a DIY, but we'll probably get more bags because we like to eat these as well. So let me know if you guys like conversation hearts. I know I feel like it's like one or the other. Either you like loathe them. It's like candy corn. I love candy corn. People like loathe candy corn. And people who feel the same way about conversation hearts. I love them. Um, we got packs of foam hearts. Um, once again, fun DIYs for the kiddos. Ellen, or Ollie wanted these to make her own Valentine's and Eleanor wanted these. They'll probably go interchangeably. These are cute little conversation heart foam stickers. Once again, another fun thing for kiddos to do um, and good for like sensory fun crafts and play. Um, but I've also seen a lot of people doing using these foam sticker hearts for their own like DIY decor where they make little trees. So hint hint i'm not using these things but hint hint on a valentine tree um next i think the last thing from dollar tree nope second to last thing um i got two things of spackle for my most exciting the thing i'm most excited about is my diy for a faux whipped cream topper for your mug i've seen these go around all the time i didn't even know it was a thing i thought people just had the cutest mugs and then they just like went crazy with fun decorations. But they like make these full little whipped cream toppers and then it's a fun for like your cheer tray or your coffee bar, which is what I'm gonna use it for. And I think they're adorable. So I got two things of spackle. Out of all the videos I watched, the Dollar Tree spackle was the one that was most recommended. This is the Tool Bench Hardware. I wish I would have bought probably two more. Um, I bought two thinking it'd be enough, but now I'm thinking I need more, but we'll see. Maybe this will be fine, we'll see. Anyway, I'm really excited. This, I feel like it's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to make them. I'm gonna make one for me and my mom, maybe my friends, who knows? You may get a mug topper if you watch my videos and you just don't know and drop it off at your house. That was weird. I meant like my friends who watch these videos. Never mind. <laughs> I'm really excited, but I got these two spackles. Um, 
And then lastly, this is something I really like, and I think these are so pretty. These are little candle um, holders. These make me think of the Opal House line from Target. I just feel like they're kind of fun and boho um, vibes. I just love them. I think they're beautiful. They had a bunch of different colors. These were not in the Valentine's Day section. They were in the regular candle, candle holder section um, down like the decor aisle. And they, like I said, they had different colors, but these ones were just this beautiful deep red with this etching on the glass and then just a painted gold rim. I don't know how I feel with the gold, but it's, I still think it's really cute. I really like them. And like I said, if you like the boho vibe, I mean, these could easily just be like regular decor. I did get a set of two faux tea lights, um, because I'm terrible about remembering to blow out candles. So the less candles, the better. Um, but I mean you still get the nice flicker, you know what I'm saying? So I got two of these you could easily do DIYs with these, but I just really like them I think they're beautiful. I think they're gonna be really nice on my mantle, which is where I plan on putting them Hopefully I can make it work and look the best. We'll figure it out Okay, that's it from Dollar Tree. Let's move on to Walmart When I tell you guys that I got so many freaking garlands I got so many freaking garlands, so I got you covered if you're looking for a garland <laughs> Um, Walmart though, I will tell you, I have seen so many people's videos about the cutest stuff at Walmart and I not, not, the three Walmarts I've been to the past week have not had like one bit of it. So I'm on the hunt for some of that stuff because it's so cute. Walmart I feel like did a really good job with their Valentine's Day stuff this year. Um, not everything was up my alley but there was a lot of things that I really want to get my hands on. Way more than Target in my opinion. Um, first things first is I have this Valentine's Day felt banner. This is actually 13 feet long. It's ridiculously long. I honestly have no idea where I'm going to put this thing. Um, I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but I saw it. It's felt. It's super cute. I was really excited. So we got a felt uh, banner and I feel like it's going to go really well with all the other colors that I got. All right. I also picked up to go along with those whipped toppers. Um, and for another DIY that I'm going to share with you in a second, I got three things of the Apple Barrel paint. I really like this paint um, from Walmart. It's 50 cents. It's really cute. I got it in three fun Valentine's colors. This is in bright red, pink eraser, and candy pink. And I think, I mean, it's going to match perfectly with our banner. Um, and I really like the Apple Barrel paint. So this is going to work well with the whip toppers. And then um for this bad guy um before i share that with you i'm gonna go and finish the little bits right here i have these valentine sprinkles there's from wilton and they have their kisses and hugs i don't know if you can see that can you see that their kisses and hugs o's and x's and o's i think are adorable and these are gonna go on top of one of the whipped little toppers i also got some straws some paper straws i love to decorate with these i think they're i do not like to actually use them they just I keep them for years to decorate with because I do not like the way paper straws feel um, and they just like fall apart really easily but these are going to be really cute in my whip toppers. Um, and I also got this ribbon which is just red with white hearts. It's really adorable. I think this was less than a dollar. Um, I'm going to use this for this next little garland that I was mentioning. Once again, a new garland. This is actually really cute. It's a little heart garland. It's wooden pieces. They're actually pretty thick. It's a really kind of darky, darky. It's a, like a bronzy, almost gray. It's a dark gray, gold. It's a dark gold color. This was less than $5, I believe. Um, and it has a burlap string on the back. Um, and this would be really cute if you naturally decorate with like the red and gold theme for Valentine's Day, like the more classic traditional style. Um, this would be cute as is. This was not in the Valentine's Day decor section. This was actually in the bridal section, which is in like the party area in Walmart. Um, and I just happened to look there because I was like, I bet they have love things. Sure enough, found this cute heart garland. This would actually be really cute if you wanted to make like a photo banner of like you and your loved ones, your family, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mom, your pet, I don't know. Um, I think it'd be really cute if you wanted to tack some photos on it and make kind of like a photo garland. Um, but I got this and I'm hoping that the paint adheres well and I don't have to do any sanding or priming or anything. Um, I got it for these paint colors. I just wanted to alternate each heart with a different color and create kind of a fun, like colorful garland because I thought at the time, 
I wasn't going to be able to find garlands until I bought like five more. So, um, but I, this is going to be one of my DIYs and then I'm going to add like cute little, super little heart bows on top. I think it's going to be really adorable, inexpensive and a fun way to kind of like, I think this would be adorable if you wanted to do conversation hearts and just buy a bunch of pastel paints and use that and write like cute little sweet messages on them. Adorable. I just think this is like a really cute and fun find. Um, for that whip topping, I needed styrofoam craft foam balls. I'm going to cut in half. And then I found these. They had really cute towels in the Valentine's Day section at Walmart. Um, I, they did have all of the towels. Um, but I did go in with this pack. This one has like cute little hearts on it. It says be mine. I love it. And then just like a basic, um, uh, one that has kind of like pastel hearts. Uh, the terry cloth ones are the ones we actually use because they wash easier. These ones are the decor towels. My family hates this. I love it. You guys do the same thing. I know you guys have told me that in the past. Adorable towels. These would be a fun little valentine to send someone. Um, these are like three bucks. Um, next thing I want to share with you is Target. Let me tell you, if anything could go wrong when I film this video, it has. A little bit of break. Wait, moving on before we completely lose light. All right, so... Um, Opal House came out with a really adorable line this year at Target. Their stuff is adorable. It's been very hard to find because it's been selling out, but a lot of stuff is still online. Really cute. I plan on probably still getting two other pillows to go with our couch area, but I couldn't resist this one. I normally don't like to get pillows. I like to get pillow covers because it's just, they take up so much space and it's just so much more cost effective and space like saving to not get just to get pillow covers, but I couldn't resist. It says be mine. It's embroidered. I love the little birdies carrying the valentines and the little tassels. It's so cute. I will say this is $20, which I think is insane to me for the small amount of pillow, but I did it <laughs> and it's adorable. So I'm keeping it. Um, another thing to go on the couch is from the Spritz line. Their line from Target is in the actual like Valentine's Day stuff decor area, but they're like pillows and stuff and the throws are on like, at least at the, my both of my targets are in, on the end caps by the bedding area. But I just thought this was really, really sweet and just fun and soft. Um, and I liked, they had different ones I liked better, but they were white and I thought they would get dirty faster. So I went with this one on camera. It's looking a lot more like Christmas holiday red and white, but in person it's a lot more pink. Um, and you can definitely tell it's like Valentine's Day. It's just so soft. I love like the cute, beautiful throws, but I just, we end up liking stuff that's plush and cozy way more. It gets more use out of it. It's just easier to wash. Um, so we went with this one. It's really cute. $10. They do have a bunch of different designs. Like I said, I want to get the floral, um, pillows that are from Opal House. And then I'm going to get pink and white Buffalo check pillow covers that are like the baby pink and the white to go like this then it'll match and all be together and it'll be so cute so that's kind of our like couch decor vibes and then um the two other pieces i think this is the last two things from target i got were these two things the first one is this adorable little heart um wreath hanger i don't know what you would call this wreath um, this would be actually something that you could easily replicate, but for the price, it was $10. For the price, if you don't already have, um, yarn on hand, then I feel like it's going to be about the same to buy all the yarn, plus the felt and everything and the time. But if you have the yarn on hand, this would be easy to replicate. You just cut out some, um, cardboard, wrap it on up. You'd be easy to go, put a felt little piece on the back, hot glue it all together. Um, but this I think is adorable. It's really fun. Once again, for a girl's room, don't know where I'm going to hang this quite yet, but it's really cute. $10. I feel like I'm out of breath because I'm trying not to <laughs> miss out on the light. The next thing we have is this really cute, um, once again, wall decor. I loved this. I just needed it. I feel like they brought out something similar last year. Um, one of the years recently. I just think it's so cute. It's this metal um, heart 
and then it has these adorable multicolored tassels on it it has these like little metal wire ridges so it stops the tassels from like floating over so they're all spaced out equally and it's just so cute it's just such a fun like funky wall hanging and I adore it I don't know where I'm putting it again but right now I'm really excited about it this was like I said I think I said ten dollars pretty much everything from spritz that I got was ten dollars and I just think it's so fun so that is the other thing I got from Target. Moving on to home goods. So I am not the biggest home goods person. I feel like everybody and their mother loves home goods. I don't, I don't. I don't know why, it's just not my thing. I just feel like it's, it's at least our home goods is crowded like a Jonas Brothers concert circa 2008, every day, every day of the week. I don't understand. And I feel like this stuff is just isn't really consistent. That's not to say that I haven't found an, a ton of really cute stuff there, because I have, and normally I always find something that's really cute and I really like, but I just, I don't enjoy the shopping experience there, I feel like. So I will say that, but I did find two pieces. I actually found a couple of pieces, but some of the things I already gave to my mom, they were really adorable gnome pillows. They have a bunch of gnome pillows there that are really cute. But these next two pieces are actually Ray Dunn. Now, once again, also not a big, avid, crazy Ray Dunn person. Um, I mean, some people are like, they're into it. Like the hunt and like the kill of, you know, that's probably not what I should say, but just the hunt of finding Ray Dunn pieces. Like people, you get like real intense. Now, like you do you, you love that. Not trying to knock your thing. Like I totally understand. Just not my thing. Like I think it's cute, but I'm not gonna be, I'm not a collector. Um, I have a couple pieces, but I get them purely because I like that particular piece, if that makes sense. So along the same lines, I found this really adorable garland. Um, this was $7.99, which I think was a nice price. It's like velvet little hearts, and even the hearts have little, little wings on it. Once again, garland, don't know where I'm putting it, but it's adorable. Um, this is only 36 inches. It's not very long, but I think it's just really sweet. This one would be also really cute along like the coat rack or on a bar cart, or I know like some people like to do garlands on their tier trays um this is just a really short one i think it's adorable if you're really into ray dunn i think this is definitely something you would like if you aren't into ray dunn i still think it's adorable um i only saw one of these and it was like randomly like shelved on the impulse section when you're like checking out and everything and i hadn't seen anything else or any of them anymore in the store so i don't know that's like i feel like it's the kind of thing with home goods is like you just you just find something and it's like, okay, I'll get it. <laughs> the next thing, and this is what astounds me. The day before I'd gone to Home Goods, I was looking on Facebook Marketplace to see if anybody um, had like home decor that they really liked, that they wanted to share, or if they had uh, like Valentine's Day home decor, or if they had like we're making um, handmade stuff. Stumbled on the Ray Dunn section. This mug was going for $85 and it sold for $85. That's insane to me. I got this for $5.99. I just think that's crazy. Um, this is my first Ray Dunn mug. I have a couple other kitchen pieces, but this is my first Ray Dunn mug. Like I said before, it's not like the thing that I like, I need, you know? Ow, ow. I feel like I don't even deserve this because I'm not $85 into this. You know what I'm saying? Like the person who is willing to spend that much money deserves this, not me. But I did find this for $5.99. It was only one that I found. They did have a bunch of the white ones with the black etching heart, which I was originally gonna get, but I stumbled on this one, grabbed it, was excited. It has that kind of fun, handmade, cozy feel. It's a nice mug, it's big. It's a mug though, $85, I wouldn't pay. But I think this will be really cute with the topper, which I feel like every time I see those toppers, they're on Ray Dunn mugs, so I don't know. I'm excited. All right. Moving on to Hobby Lobby. So I didn't get much of Hobby Lobby because their Valentine's Day stuff wasn't on sale yet. I only got the things that I felt like would potentially not be there when I went back when they were on sale. Um, first things first, I get this every single time they have them. Other little houses or the light up little things. I already have two of these from last year. <laughs> I wish I got two more. <laughs> this year already so i may end up getting more if they still have them they're only 3.99 and then when they're on 40 percent off they're just worth it they're just little cute ceramic houses this one has a little red heart it's crooked um and then the hearts on the sides they're adorable i love these things 
Um, I think they're really cute on the mantle. I think they're adorable on uh, tiered trays. Um, bar carts is where I put mine. I think they're also really cute on like the back of your stove area. I just love them. So I got a couple of the, or just one. I wish I got a couple. I also got this. I wanted this last year so badly and I didn't have it. And it says you are loved. But now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if I did find it later. I wonder if I bought this already. If I did, this is going away to a Valentine for somebody. I don't think I bought it, but maybe I did. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> but I did get it this year again, if I hadn't already got it. And it says two, it's $2.99. It says you are loved. It's just really cute. Once again, this is another good to your tray decor. Don't know where I'm putting it. I just thought it was adorable and I really wanted it last year. And I can't remember if I got it last year. I don't think I did because I don't know where I would have put it. So I bought my mom a couple of gnome things from Hobby Lobby. She's really into gnomes, like I mentioned earlier. Um, she loves them because they look like my dad who passed away. And so she's like obsessed with all things gnomes. Um, I got her one of these and I got her a couple other gnome things. Um, my husband just came up. <laughs> right, so I got the same one for my mom. Um, and I had to have one because he's so cute. He's just so cute. Hobby Lobby has a ton of gnome stuff. So if you're into the gnome theme, they got you covered. They have a ton of cute Easter ones already out too. Um, but he's so cute. I love his little heart and his hat. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. And it's just a cute little jar. This would be adorable on your bar cart, to your tray, um, to add some height. And you could put like the little heart scatters in here, conversation hearts, the colorful Valentine M&Ms. I plan on putting like my stevia in here next to my coffee area i just i can't get over him he's so cute he was 5.99 i would probably wait until he's 40 percent off but i'm not upset that i got him i just couldn't i couldn't resist that little face okay this is the main thing i went for because i didn't think that they would have them because i've seen them go so fast on um online and then when i was in the store I was debating on getting it because it's another garland, but it's the wool garlands. They also have this in pink and white, but I liked the red and white the best. I love the I, wool garlands are my absolute favorite. I have one um, that's my Halloween one and I just, I think they're so cute. I just couldn't resist. Now this thing was $19.99. I did use my 40% off one time, one item coupon because I didn't want to spend full price. Um, and while I was debating on getting this, Five other people in the short time, I was probably like th three minutes, five other people came down that aisle and picked it all up until they were all gone. So I knew if I wasn't gonna get it that day, I wasn't gonna get it. So if you see this and you want it, absolutely get it because they went like hotcakes. I was kind of like flabbergasted. It is absolutely adorable. I think it's just, I can't. Couldn't resist another garland. You're just gonna see like my house just like this. It's all my home decor will be is garlands. Um, and then, oh, actual last thing. I did get these really cute little heart beads. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I think I'm gonna use them on my little whipped cream toppers. I just thought they were really cute. They're just white with little red hearts on them. They also be really fun to make those like bracelets that are really trendy, that are like the fun like word bracelets. I don't know, they were actually 50% off. Um, it was an impulse buy and they looked cute, so. I think I shared everything with you guys besides this last item. This last item was from Kirkland's and I'm really glad that I decided to check Kirkland's out. I hadn't expected to really find much on it, um, but I was just looking for some Valentine's Day decor and I found this piece and they had a coupon code or promo code um, for 20 or 25% off one item, something like that. I got this for like 15 bucks, I think. Um, and it's this adorable little sign. It says, love you more. Is this not so cute? I think this is adorable. I love the red and white hearts and the script on it. I'm gonna put this on my mantle. You can hang this. There is a burlap string. It's pretty substantial. Like it's not a super lightweight thing. Um, it's so cute. I was so excited that I found this. We just did this um, free like curbside pickup because they had it locally to me, um, but Hopefully, as of right now, it's still going on, but hopefully when you see this video, they are having some sort of sale and you can snag this because this is probably my favorite piece besides this bad boy, which, how cute, man. On the fireplace mantle area, it's so cute. And even like, look, just look at them. 
oh, I'm so excited. I'm getting so inspired. I'm like prepped and pumped. So that was probably my favorite item that I got. But that is the end of this video. I think I shared everything. I filmed this four times. So at this point, I don't know what I've shared and what I've said. It's going to be a pain in the butt to try to edit. But that is it for this video. Make sure that you stick around um, and subscribe if you haven't already because my next videos will be my uh, DIY Valentine decor ideas, which I'm so excited to share with you. I've already shared some of the ideas here in this video. I'm also going to do my Valentine's Day decorate with me and my What I Got My Kids for Valentine's Day is coming up really soon. You guys have also asked for more What's For Dinner videos, which are also coming as well. I've been filming that. I just took a little break for the holidays because honestly, I, I was not wanting to cook at all and we were just getting by by the basics. Um, but those are coming back and I'm really excited to share also with you guys. I'm feeling inspired again and just pumped. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got some good ideas. Like I said, if any of you see any fun things in this haul, definitely try to go and snag it because it has been hard as heck to try to get um, my hands on the majority of this stuff. And the, most of the stuff I probably won't be able to link um, because they don't have online options for it as well as like most of it will probably be sold out online. So try to go and get your hands on it in store. Be safe about it. Um, I wish you luck if you find any fun like little goodies. Tell me your fun hacks for Valentine's Day DIY decor and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.